Hi, I'm George Levy. I believe we're changing the world one blockchain at a time. Have you ever asked yourself what a Bitcoin transaction really looks like? Not just what you see on a block explorer, but actually what does the code that makes up a Bitcoin transaction look like? In this video, I'm going to show you exactly that. This lesson is taken from the Bitcoin Advanced Level Transactions course. Enjoy. In this video, we will be reviewing what a Bitcoin transaction actually looks like. And we will do that from two different views. The first one we will go is the traditional view that most people get whenever you think of a Bitcoin transaction. You go to a block explorer so you can actually get a view of the transaction on a block explorer. And that's a typical way that most people would be able to see it. In this video, we're going to go one level deeper. And we're actually going to look at the transaction as it is processed by the different nodes. The actual Bitcoin protocol code that's used to actually include that transaction inside a block. So we will first begin with a block explorer view of a transaction. It will be a 0.1 Bitcoin transaction, which I will now look up inside this block explorer, which you can find at blockdozer.com. So I will paste a new transaction, and this is a transaction ID for the transaction we will be looking at. And we'll look at that transaction on a block explorer. Some of the information you will find here is the transaction hash, which is with transaction ID that we looked for. You will find the size of the transaction and you'll find the details for it. You'll find in this case that there are actually three inputs into two outputs. These outputs were the main 0.1 bitcoins that we see here. And the next one is a change. This is the change from that transaction. What we know from this transaction is that 0.1 Bitcoin was actually sent to this Bitcoin address right here. And the change was sent back to this other Bitcoin address here. So that's a typical view you'd be able to see on a block explorer. I will now take you to how the Bitcoin protocol actually looks at this transaction. And what we will be talking about is something known as JSON, RPC, and APIs. An API is an application program interface. This is how you can interact with the Bitcoin protocol. And JSON RPC is JavaScript Object Notation Remote Procedure Calls. And this is the actual commands that you can actually issue to the Bitcoin node to give you back the information about the transactions. Now, if you were running a full node at home, you would have access to this information via the command line. But since most people don't have that, I will be using a different interface. And to do so, I would like to encourage you to go to chainquery.com. Now, chainquery.com is a website that lets you look inside the Bitcoin API JSON RPC with actually using a web-based interface. So what you will be seeing is information from a full Bitcoin node, and you'll be able to look at the individual transactions and the individual blocks, but looking at it from the standpoint of the Bitcoin API. So for this specific example, you have the option to go through all the different commands that the Bitcoin API enables you to have, but we will focus on a command called get raw transaction and you can find it on the side you can find it yourself if you're interested in participating and what you can do is once you get to that specific command you can actually type in the transaction ID for the transaction that we're gonna look at so whereas we just looked at this transaction on a block explorer what we're gonna look at it now is to see how the Bitcoin API actually looks at this transaction so as we go through this I am gonna paste that transaction inside there's two ways to look at it. You can look at it in hex format or in decoded format. If I go hex format, what you will find is that it's one big long, long, long string. Instead, let's look at it as decoded, which is going to be easier to understand. And let's go for the transaction ID that we just did for the block explorer. So what I am going to be doing now is I am going to be put a parallel between the chain query version, that is the web-based interface to the Bitcoin API at JSON RPC, versus the block explorer. So we saw the transaction on a block explorer, and it was a very easy view. You see that there are three inputs, which were sent out to two outputs. These two outputs consisted of the 0.1 Bitcoins that were sent, and we now know that this was the change for this transaction sent back. So let's look at it from this interface. And what you will find is that this is the actual transaction that's recorded inside the Bitcoin blockchain. And I'm going to take you through some of the key elements in here. In the beginning on top, what you will find is that you have V in and you have V outs. These correspond to the inputs and the outputs. 
So these three inputs that you see here correspond to these three inputs that you see here. And I'm going to show you how you can look into these. What you will find is that in this first input, you find that there's a TX ID of FD2D, and you move on all the way through ending in 5E5. You will find that this is not the information that you see here. However, if you go back into the first input, you will find that there's history that that input actually came from a previous transaction, and that transaction begins with FD2D and ends in 5E5. So what you're really seeing is that this input is actually coming from this transaction. You see, this is the initial input that led to this input right here, which took us to the transaction we have today. You can apply the same logic to the next input. So let's go back. And what you will find is that if I go through here in this input, it will take you that the previous input that led to this one is the one that we see here, starting with 1ACD and ending in 234. And that is how you can look inside these. Furthermore, if you're interested in looking at the outputs, what you will find is that the two outputs we had, one of them began with 1FS, which gave you the 1 BTC, the point 0.1 BTC. You can find that same information at chain query by looking at the out section for this one. In this case, we find that that address starts with 1FS, ends in WCG, and we have the other one, which is 1LY and ends in 5UX. And these are the two outputs that you see here, the 1LYX ending in 5UX and 1FSM and ending in WCG. You can even match that the individual amounts for these two outputs are the ones that you see here in this transaction that has been decoded for you. The first one is this value of 0 0.17949323 being sent to 1LYX. You see that it matches this information you see right here. And also, you can see that this second one, which is actually for a total of 0.1 bitcoins, is being sent to 1FSMW2. You can see it right here, 1FSMW2 for the 0.1 bitcoins. And that is what a real bitcoin transaction looks like to the bitcoin protocol. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something in the process. I bring you brand new videos every single week, so I encourage you to subscribe. Also, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'm George Levy. We are changing the world one blockchain at a time. See you next time.